Hi everybody, so this is the second of our series Morning, Noon and Night and this is Noon and I've just called it Noon so that it becomes uh, something that you might do during your day uh, particularly if somebody who does a lot of work on, your, on a screen or who watches a lot of TV or who for work or for leisure you, you sit a lot and what might you do just build into that sitting uh, that might become part of a routine for you. I know the benefits of this myself and I wish I'd known them much much sooner because I spent years as an academic sitting, researching, writing, never moving out of the one position, locked completely into one position and it's taken me quite a long time now to reverse that. It's a good thing though, you can reverse it at any age, that's the good thing about this, so it doesn't matter when you start, um, but it's good to start as soon as possible, like anything that's good for you, you should start it sooner rather than later. So what we're going to do then is first of all work with the eye muscles, then we're going to work with your neck and then we're going to work with your shoulders and then we're going to do a little bit of work for the spine and then we're going to do work on the arms. Uh, we can do tricep dips on the chair. The one thing to be careful of though is if you're sitting on a swivel chair or an office chair or something like that, be sure it's stable and well anchored. I have a grand chair for doing this because it's really strong and stable and I know it's not going to collapse under me or you know scoot off over the floor or something like that. So let's begin then. So always for these, you're sitting up nice and straight, so you're not slumped at all. So you can see me, I'm probably too straight. Well, not too straight. It's important to, be, to sit straight up. So if you're sitting straight up, you should feel a gentle contraction through your core. If you're not feeling that, then you are probably leaning a little bit forward or you're probably slumped down like that. So you want to be up, upright, that's important and you can correct that at any time in your seated posture and even, even that alone is a really good thing to do. So we're going to begin with your eye muscles and we're going to begin with your eyes closed. So just close your eyes, relax the rest of your body, Clo relax all the muscles in your face. Just let them softly relax, relax your jaw. Mine's not relaxed of course because I'm talking. But um, for you, you can relax your jaw, relax your tongue and your mouth. Just let everything be soft and relaxed. Then open your eyes and gaze into the distance. So try not to focus on anything, not see anything, and then close your eyes again. Relax your facial muscles, relax your forehead. And we're going to work around the hours of the clock, just, you know, one, three, six, nine, twelve. And all you're going to move are your eye muscles. Nothing else moves. So open your eyes, look up at twelve, three, six, nine, twelve. Three, six, nine, twelve. Three, six, nine, twelve. Close your eyes. And just recognize when you close your eyes if your forehead uh, relaxed as well, which means that you are tensing your forehead when you're looking up at 12. I do it all the time, and it takes discipline over the facial muscles to not raise your forehead when you're looking up at 12. We're going to go one more time clockwise, so open your eyes. 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, and 12. Close your eyes, relax your muscles, all the muscles of your face, let them soften. Open your eyes again, we're going to go anti-clockwise, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, 9, 6, 3, and 12. Close your eyes, soften your facial muscles. We'll do that one more time. 12, 9, 6, 3, 12. 9, 6, 3, and 12. Relax your facial muscles, relax everything. Everything soft, shoulders relaxed. Then open your eyes. And we're gonna proceed then down through your neck. So on your exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Let your chin rest on your chest. And now, if you have your hands on the uh, arms of your chair, just relax your hands onto uh, your thighs. Drop your chin to your chest and take your shoulders back down and away from your ears until you can feel a stretch to the sides of your neck. Then on your inhale, lift your chin up, tilt it up and back. Exhale, slowly drop your chin to your chest. Let your chin rest on your chest, shoulders back and down. Inhale, slowly lift your chin up, tilt it up and back. Exhale, slowly drop your chin to your chest. Let your chin rest on your chest, shoulders back and down. And the shoulders back and down is really important because you're stretching the sides of your neck here, the scalene muscles up the sides of your neck. 
Then slowly take your chin back parallel with the mat. As you exhale, gaze over your left shoulder. As you inhale, come back to the center. Exhale over the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale over the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale over the right. And inhale back to center. And then we're going to work through your shoulder joints. And very often they get quite seized up if you're sitting like this and typing all the time. And usually they're a bit hunched up and rounded forward. So we want to take your fingertips to your shoulders and bring your elbows together. And that's just working on the shoulder joints. And then take them back. And then take your arms out at shoulder level and turn one palm up and the other palm down. And then you're just wringing out the shoulder joints. So the shoulder is a ball and socket joint. And it's a um, really interesting joint because it's quite loose uh, compared to your hip joints, which is also a ball and socket joint. And then drop your palms back down onto your thighs and roll your shoulders up, back and down. So even that action alone itself. And now to work on your spine. Difficult enough to work on your spine in some ways from a seated position, but we can do quite a bit with it. So I would always begin by taking my fingertips together. And as I inhale, I would take my arms back and take my chin up. And as I exhale, I would bring my fingertips together, tuck my chin to my chest and pull my tummy in. And you can feel yourself rounding through your back. Inhale to open up. And then exhale to close. Inhale to open up. And exhale to close. And then bring your palms back down to your shins again. And you can roll your shoulders again. And that action for anybody who is, you know, sort of tight in their lower back or anything like that, it's really important that you do that on a regular basis. Continuing to work with your spines then, you can do a twist. So I might take my left hand either to the outside of my right thigh or to the, hand, the arm of my chair. And then I would just take my right hand back. So just a twist, just a ba basic, basic twist. And then I would come back and I would do it in the opposite direction and take it back and do it in the opposite direction. And I would take it back and do it in the opposite direction again. And then I would come all the way back to the center. And then for a side body stretch, so thinking about your obliques. So when we think about our cores, so we've, um, we're stabilized through our core here, but if we want to stretch our oblique muscles, you can just put your hand either on your thigh or onto uh, the arm of your chair. You can take your other arm up and over. It's a really basic stretch. So my raised hand, the fingers are together and the palm is facing down, and I'm lifting right out of my hip. And then I can take the, that arm down and do it to the other side. So I can do a whole series of these, just depending on how tight you feel. Going in that direction and then coming back and going in that direction. And then from, from here, you can just take your feet out in front of you, uh, you know, and just lift them up and push them down. So just not neglecting your feet in this sequence as well, although I'm concentrating primarily on our upper bodies. If you want to build a little strength in your forearms and your, your biceps and your triceps and in your wrists as well, um, make sure that um, if most chairs have, uh, if, uh, have arms and if they don't, they should. Yeah, you shouldn't be without arms on your chair. Uh, but make sure if you're on an office chair or something like that, that it's going to be stable. And I would use this as a strength building move. So I uh, take my weight into my arms and then I would lift my body up and I would lift it up off the mat. And that's amazing uh, work for your arms and then drop myself down. And I would do that a couple of times, not just the one time, but several, several times. Um, so just lifting up, stabilizing. This is core work as well. So you're working on your core, you're working on your arms and then I would drop it down. And then if I wanted to really energize through my body and work on the whole um, arm complex here from the shoulder uh, to the biceps, triceps, to the forearms and to the hands, I do the simplest of things. I just shoot my hands out like that. And I do, I might even do a hundred of those with energy and with drive. So you're flying along with those and it builds heat in your body. It, and <laughs> right, you probably, people think you're crazy, but 
even with those, there was only about four or five moves. I can feel that working on my forearms or my upper arms. I can feel it on my forearms. I can feel that through my wrists and through my fingers. And that's really important for, um, particularly if you're typing a lot and, you know, there are all kinds of things that go on uh, when we're working uh, on, a, on a, a keypad all the time. So they're just, a, they're simple, simple little things that you can do. And what did that take? Five or 10 minutes. So you don't need to do them all at the same time. So we worked on our eye muscles. We worked on our neck. Really important to work on your neck because when you're sitting a lot, you want to avoid what has become known as tech neck. And that is the head going forward. So head going forward. So sometimes it's a good idea just to put your finger on your chin and push your chin back. So the, the neck moves that we did is for your, there for your cervical spine. Um, then we did the shoulders, looking after your shoulders. Uh, we were, all of the time when we're doing this, we're braced through our core. So it's not a strong brace, it's a gentle brace, but nonetheless, the core is switched on. And the, the importance of that is that you protect your lower spine. So you keep the natural curve in your lower spine uh, when you sit for long periods. Also, you try not to slump in your chair, right? So tempting. And we, when we buy new couches and everything to lie down on, we, we d they're designed to slump. Um, I have a couple of yoga friends who threw all of their chairs out and they now sit on the floor for everything. Uh, I'm not suggesting you do that, right? Uh, but as well as that, as well as doing those moves that we've just been doing, and I straighten up my back there now, um, get up and walk around. You shouldn't really be sitting for more than 20 minutes at a time. Because remember, if you're sitting, you're shortening your, your hip flexors, um, you know, you're shortening your hamstrings, your unhealthily lengthening through your quads, uh, you're probably slumped through your core, you're rounded through your back, your head is forward. So sitting, it's called the sitting disease, uh, sitting too long and too much is not good for us. We're not, our bodies aren't designed to do it. They can do it, of course, but they're not designed to do it for long periods of time. Our bodies are built to move. That's why we have joints. That's why we have um, muscles and tendons and ligaments. That's, that's why we're, we're just built to move. Um, so that's my noon uh, part of my morning, noon and night. Um, and again, I try to do these when I can, uh, try to fit them in, particularly on busy days and particularly if you sit for work. I think it's really important. Or if you sit for leisure in the evenings, you could be sitting for four or five hours in the evenings, maybe without even moving. Uh, and everything about that is bad for your body, unfortunately. Uh, so you, you do need to relax, of course. Uh, but at the same time, you need to keep your body as fluid as you can keep it. That's this sequence, that's the noon sequence. So we've got one last one to do in our morning, noon and night. And this, the next one is going to be how and what you might do before you go to sleep at night time. So no excuse. These are little sequences to build into your daily routine. And I'll see you for the night sequence on the next video.